It's easy for us at Yellow Brick to tell you that we're faster than the competitors in the data warehousing space, but I think it's much more valuable to actually show you how much faster we are than competitors like Snowflake, for example. So what we're going to do is run a performance comparison challenge between Yellow Brick on the one side and Snowflake on the other. And as part of this challenge, what we're going to do is run a workload of around 500 queries on each system at the same time. We're actually going to do kind of a drag race. We're going to see which one finishes first and which one offers the best price performance. Now, both systems have the same data. They're using an industry standard benchmark called TPCDS. In this case, the data consists of around 100 gigabytes of data. Um, no tuning involved in either system. It's out of the box performance that we're looking at here. Um, the largest table has around a billion records in, in this data set. And we're, what we're actually going to do is fire around 11 concurrent queries to kind of mimic the idea of 11 queries running in the system at each time and see which one can cope with that level of concurrency uh, the best. In terms of the two configurations, we have a five node yellow brick cluster running in AWS on the one hand and a 16 node extra large snowflake data warehouse running in AWS on the other. So let's run this drag race now. So here we have our dashboard for our performance challenge. On the left hand side, we have the results for yellow brick. On the right hand side, the results for snowflake. So let's start that challenge now. And we're off to the races already. Yellow brick has completed around 60 queries where Snowflake's only on two queries completed so far. We're gathering a number of really important metrics here. So if you look at the queries per minute that Yellowbrick is processing, currently around 700 per minute versus Snowflake's 300 or so. We're also looking at the how long it took to complete each query on average. So we're averaging just less than a second per query on Yellowbrick and over two seconds per query on Snowflake. But the most important metric is the Yellowbrick cost versus the Snowflake cost. This is the real price performance comparison here. And what we have in these results are the cost of a workload if you were to extrapolate this kind of performance out, not to just around 500 queries, but to around a million queries. So to process a million queries on Yellow Brick, it would be around $278. And a Snowflake is currently running around $1,800. Um, so really good, about 6x difference in terms of price performance alone there. Now Yellow Brick's already completed its run of 465 queries, and Snowflake is still laboring at around 300 queries out of the 465 here. So you can get a real sense of the kind of performance that we're extracting from Yellow Brick at this case. We're still going on the Snowflake side of things, still processing away. The average time per query is still over around two seconds. Our Snowflake cost is really not improving beyond $1,800 for a million queries of this kind versus that $278 for Yellow Brick. It looks like we're kind of coming to an end of that workload. But one of these things this uh, benchmark really highlights is the concurrency handling. So there we go. We finally completed the entire task in less than half the time, and we're better than 75% cheaper than Snowflake. So that's the price performance challenge, but okay, just don't take my word for it. Try it yourselves on your own data. Um, we'll happily set you up with uh, the ability to try this out, try Yellow Brick alongside your existing Snowflake deployment on your data, on your workloads, and, and prove it to yourself.